They aren't shoes made for walking, they're made for winning. A national contest by Vans, the folks that make those really cool shoes, could secure a future for the St. Ignatius High School art program with your help. They're shoes that have soul, depicting the essence of the Mission Valley. They're hand painted and beaded by students at St. Ignatius High School for the Vans Custom Culture Project. This year, the school made the semifinals in this national competition that's designed to inspire and empower high school students by embracing their creativity through art and shoes. So this year, the team was able to come up with a great concept um, that really represented our valley. They worked on these every day for a long time. St. Ignatius is one of 50 schools in the nation to make the semifinals in this contest. Their designs depict the wildflowers of the Mission Valley, along with the mission and the mountains, depicting a culture that's a part of life on the Flathead Reservation. Annalisa Dumontier did the beadwork. I guess I was like the cultural advisor. The students are not all like native, so they don't completely understand the culture. Obviously living around here, you'll get the gist of it. It just represents us and Montana so well. The conversations that they had about how they would appropriately represent tribal culture here in a respectful way were really interesting conversations that we want students to be having. There are actually two pairs of shoes in this contest. That bison skull, it's actually one pair stuck sole to sole. That was senior Yvonne Beatty's idea. I had an idea for making them into a buffalo skull and our class really liked that, so that's the one I chose. The local Native American culture bison is very important. The winning school gets $75,000 for their art department, some van swag and a big party to celebrate. But even the four runners up get $10,000 to enhance their art programs, programs that are often cut when budgets get tight. Of course, the kids would love to win that $75,000 first prize, but even if they win $10,000, that's the kind of money that can make a real difference for the future of the art program here. This program at this school hasn't been consistent. Um, they had several years without an art teacher at all. We would be able to give these students the world-class arts education that they deserve. From a plain old shoe to a celebration of culture, those who see this entry get a glimpse of what it's like to walk in the shoes of students in mission, students who've already taken a big step towards success. All right, so you have to vote for them, and you can do that up until May 5th at around 6 p.m. We have a link to how to do that at kpax.com. Done it a couple times, it's pretty easy. We also have a list of all the young artists who participated in this project as well.